This is Credit Matters, and I'm Greg Mosko to the Global Fixed Income Research Group. The number of global weakest links increased by one issuer to 130. This represents only the second time this year that the weakest links count has increased month over month. Weakest links are issuers Standard & Poor's rating services rates B- and lower with either negative rating outlooks or ratings on Credit Watch with negative implications. The 130 weakest links have totaled rated debt worth $205.4 billion. A plurality of entities, 23.9%, transitioned from a B rating to a B- rating to become weakest links. This one-notch downgrade movement is a common theme among weakest links. Approximately 42.3% of weakest links were previously rated one notch higher. Alternatively, 26.15% of entities were downgraded multiple notches to become weakest links. In addition, 19.23% of entities did not go through any ratings change and solely joined the weakest links list through a change to their Outlook or Credit Watch status. U.S.-based issuers account for 60% of the 130 weakest links. This preponderance partially reflects the fact that a large proportion of the issuers that Standard & Poor's rates are based in the U.S. By volume, the 78 U.S.-based weakest links account for about $158 billion of debt, which represents 77% of the $205.4 billion total for all the weakest links. The U.S. and Europe continue to account for the greatest number of weakest links compared with 12 months ago. However, the Eastern Europe, Middle East, and Africa, EMEA region, and Asia-Pacific's proportion of the weakest links count has declined compared with 12 months earlier, while Latin America's proportion has nearly doubled. You can find more information in this month's report titled Global Weakest Links and Default Rates. The weakest links count increased in August. This has been Credit Matters. Thank you for watching.